what a great example of a drought tolerant hedge, evergreen hedge. Everybody wants a hedge. Got a neighbor they don't want to see. Too bad you couldn't muffle out the dog noise. But uh, anyway, what do we have here? We have a uh, Edward Scissorhands shaped. <laughs> I love that movie you haven't seen. You got to check it out. Uh, Edward Scissorhands shaped uh, Portolocaria afra. Um, and it is a uh, very drought tolerant succulent shrub native to South Africa in very dry regions. And so uh, it's a wonderful drought tolerant plant for us to use in our landscapes. And it looks a little bit like the common jade plant, which it's totally unrelated to. Crassula ovata is the common jade plant. The differences are that this has a uh, much smaller leaf and uh, gets much more dense and is much more cold hardy. This plant's cold hardy probably down to, I don't know, 25 degrees or so it seems like. I know it gets frost in its native habitat. That means it probably gets even colder you can see the beautiful king palms off in the distance on the other development next door. But uh, as you can see, I, <laughs> this might be one of the taller, taller examples of this plant that I've ever seen. Um, it looks like they topped it in here. So it's just kind of filling out. It looks like they recently topped it too because you can see the new growth coming off the top. The reason they call it the elephant's foot, I don't know if you can see because I can't. The base of the uh, plants, when they get really big, it, has the texture and the shape of an elephant's foot. I don't know if I'll be able to really give you a good example of that. Let's see. Let's see here. Nah, not really. Well, here, look, look. I'm gonna try my hardest. I'm try my hardest. Does that look like an elephant's foot? Well, or maybe um, over there. If you kind of trim off all the branches. Anyway, I think the skin looks like an elephant's foot. But look, what's interesting too is pieces will fall to the ground and they'll actually root. So it ends up being almost like a thicket of plants. Yeah, I did stick my head in that hole for you. <laughs> um, anyway, this is a great plant. There's a bunch of different forms this plant. There's a variegated form. There is a, uh, get in the sun so I can like get skin cancer and you can see uh, me better. Um, it uh, has a variegated form. It also has a, uh, a prostrate form, a, a flat growing form, which is really nice. And that one should really be used in the Bay Area more. But this plant does really well, and it's a plant that no one ever uses um, for no good reason in the Bay Area. So uh, anyway, that's a good one, so try it out. We'll probably have some in the nursery for sale. Try my hardest. Back in the van.